Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Portal 2, and when last we left off, GLaDOS has a surprise for us in the next room, and though she's not so subtly hinted that it has something to do with our parents that we've not seen in either this game or the previous one, it's far more likely going to be an opportunity for her to mock us, or a death trap that we're going to have to avoid. Unfortunately, there's no way to avoid going into the spotlight, so into the spotlight we go, and into whatever devious scheme GLaDOS has laid out for us. Are we ready? Of course we're not, but I'll try my best to react as quickly as I can. Initiating surprise in three, two, one. I made it all up. Of course. Surprise. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. At least we got confetti? Woo! We're gonna take this chair with us. We can't even take the chair with us. This surprise is the worst surprise ever. Let's just move on to the next test. I see a turret there that we're going to have to deal with. And I see lots of those things that we need to light up with lasers, and a laser cube. The question is, how are we going to get to that laser cube? Also, we can't get rid of that camera. Hmm. There's that, though. Always pays to look up and down. So we could use this to, uh, if we put that, say, there, we could, ah, we could make this and try and use that to protect ourselves, I imagine. Yes, we can. Aha! We're gonna have to get rid of that turret. Definitely gonna have to get rid of that turret. Aha! Your bullets cannot work. Let's quickly go over here and see that there is, oh, that was not quite what I wanted to do. I pressed the wrong button. Silly me. Right, we want to get over to... There, I think. If we go to there, we could easily just do that. Now over here... Ooh, there's a button here. This button... Ah! That's a little unfortunate. That is actually very unfortunate, but if we were to use this, we could maybe stop both of the boxes. And that's one stopped, and the second! Ha ha! Brilliant. Now we just want to get back over to there, which is easy to achieve. Perspective. It's a strange thing. Now we could use those to protect ourselves. And we could use them to destroy this, provided, of course, we can uh, actually aim over there. We have number one, so let's quickly move over here and inevitably get shot. Oh, you tried! You tried! But you didn't- oh! You did succeed there! Ow! Now, we have an angle on two of them, so let's do that. Brilliant. And quickly protect ourselves here. Your time is coming, turret. Your time is coming. And it's over there. Protected by a... Ooh, you're protected by a cage, which means that we can't fire anything at you. But we can... Get this. And use this to, uh... Get over to that there. All we need to do is not get killed. And... Line this up like so. Oh, aha! Now you are gone, giving us all the time we need to get over to that door. But first, we need to line this up. I feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. Parents who are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. Oh, that's sad, but impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. Alternatively, maybe that wasn't a real phone call. I mean, caught a hunch, but 
that might not have actually happened. Either way, we need to get over here. And I accidentally made the wrong colored portal. It's okay though, we can salvage this. Like that? Aha! And I nearly fell into the water there. That would have been a terrible way to fail. Let's move on. I was really expecting lots and lots and lots and lots of turrets in that surprise. This kind of gave me the idea, but they play with my expectations and presented something even worse. Let's move on. No loading screen yet. <gasps> Wheatley? Hey, how's it going? I talked my way onto the old nanobot work crew rebuilding this shop. They are really small. So, oh. I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. On a break. Ah! Just hang in there for five more. What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. Gotcha. Five more chambers. Then your master plan will be enacted. But considering your previous master plan, I'm not entirely confident. Well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while, so I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. I'm not sure any of this is funny, GLaDOS, but either way, we're going to move forward. We're on test number 19 of 22. And there are lots of things we need to worry about, like all of those turrets over there. And that thing folding into there. Okay, we have a laser. We also have some boxes. We can get some of these. And there's that weird effect again that I was told is because of some of the uh, options. But either way, let's grab this. There's one there. And there's one here. And I bet there's another one somewhere. The question is... Ooh, there's a... Uh, Spring pad there, and there's something over here. Thank you. There's something over here. Also, there's a camera. We'll make that fall. Ooh, there's also that too. Okay, how are we going to get to that? We're going to need that one. I think I know how we're going to get to that one. If we do this. So that we land in that. Now, if we were to move the blue one to here... That wasn't the right one, was it? No, no, it wasn't. I had to actually move the orange one. Never mind, we'll try that again. This time with less failure. This time facing the right way. Take two! This time with success! Aha! We've managed to bunt that over to there. Which means we now have all three of them. And it's time now to go over to there, which is easy enough. We can just uh, move this over to here. And we want to aim this this way. One down. And I think the next one... How are we going to get there? I know how we're going to get there. The next one is going to be over there. We're going to have to make a chain of lasers. The first time I've ever made a chain of lasers that actually involved solving puzzles and not just trying to zap everything. Actually, that's a lie. I played the first game. Loads of lasers were in that too. Okay, we're going to have to use this again, and that's fine. Now we need to move this over to there. We can do that using that. Okay. Okay. Are you ready, Cube? No, I'm not ready. Too bad. It's going to keep bouncing. Ah, <laughs> aren't physics great? And then... Blue. Not quite the one I... Nope, I used the wrong one, didn't I? Yep. Keep doing the wrong one. Ah, well. At least we're in a game where there's no real consequence for failure, so... Try that again, this time with the orange one. Much better. And now we just need to do the same. And then we'll get over there. Woohoo! Aha! 
need to avoid the laser, though. The laser is a bad thing. That's also kind of a bad thing. We sort of don't want it to uh, face that way. There's nothing on the ceiling we need to aim for after all, but there is that there. Jump over the lasers, and now we need to get to the very, very final one. Which isn't very tricky at all, actually. We just need to do this. And I do see those turrets. You know what? Let's deal with them. With lasers! Ha-ha! They explode! And explode they did. Brilliant. And that brings us over to there, because we now have a platform. And all we need to do is get over to that platform, which I think we're going to use the jumpy thing for once again. Orange there. Oh yes, we're definitely going to be using the jumpy thing. There we go, and orange! I got the right one this time! And avoid the laser. Aha! We did it. And by we, I mean me and lasers. I thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. When you say one of both of us, you mean you. I mean, I'm not even gonna pretend to think that you mean me. You mean you. We're on our way to the next test, but we've dealt with one of the tests we need to for Wheatley to come up with his plan. I hope it's a good one. I really do. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right. The facility is completely operational again. Uh-oh. Completely operational is not what I wanted to hear. It certainly, certainly looks quite uh, a bit better, though there are a few uh, tiles here that aren't looking so great. Okay, we're just worrying about boxes and lasers. Ooh, this does actually look quite spiffy. First things first, deal with that. Now, what do we need to do? Oh, we need to get three things here. Okay, and we have two boxes? Hmm, that's a little bit odd. How are we going to get three and two? Well, if we take that away, that does that. We can do that, which then means that it flies off into forever. Over to there. Okay. Hmm. How am I going to split this into two beams? One of these is going to have to be split. If I put this in the middle, that only makes one beam. It only makes one. Okay, well the first things first we want to do is we want to just, uh, do the thing that we're obviously not meant to do, which is, uh, put this here. That powers one of them. And then we need to, uh, put this over here, which does that, which still only powers... Okay, that will do that. That'll power one. And if we're to put a... Hmm. That's not going to work at all, because we still need these portals to, uh... Get the other one there, too, because that one is there. Hmm. Maybe... Maybe using portals here isn't the answer. Maybe it's not the answer, because that will give us... Two. Now we just need the third. There's a beam over there. What are we going to do with this beam? Also, I really want this gone, so uh, let's just pick this up and... Okay, that's just going to uh, periodically block it. It's not actually going to do anything for me. Hmm, there's nothing back here. Nothing back here at all apart from grime. There, which isn't really going to help me. 
There's no hidden box somewhere that I need to uh, go and grab. Not that I can see. Got two. I just need one here. Just need one there. If I move this to here, we've got one. We need that to aim over to there, don't we? That just aims at one of them. And this is when this puzzle makes me fail. Problem is the third laser. The third laser. The third laser there. Okay, let's start again. The third laser. Ow. The third laser is one that we can not direct with a portal. Which means we shouldn't be, uh... What we shouldn't be doing is we shouldn't be, uh... Using the, um... Boxes for those. The, uh... When I say those, I mean the ones that, uh... We can actually, uh... Direct with portals. So... If we do say... That. Which does that. Now, if we use portals... That portal leads to there. That portal will go up. Up isn't what we want to do, though, is it? No, up isn't what we want. Well, it's getting rather complicated here, so uh, let's just do that and uh, think carefully. This is going to be one that's going to stump me. I'm clearly looking at this the wrong way. There are many ways I can look at this, and all of them are wrong. All of them are wrong. This laser can't be uh, here just for no reason. We need three of these. Oh, hang on. Hang on. That is angled at a very particular... It's angled in a very particular... Ah! Okay, that's angled in a very particular way. Okay, we're getting somewhere here. We have two now. Because we can use that orange portal to get them in there. And the, uh... Okay, okay. Right. So if we were to put that portal there, like that. Okay. So that's just aiming forward and getting that one there. Now, we need to position the laser here in such a way that it... Hmm. I know what I want to do here. I want to position this laser in such a way that it, um... that it gets that one, but... what I want to do. Also, don't, don't stand in the lasers. Okay, stand still. Stand still. That was kind of silly of me. See, that gets one. And if we do... If we, hmm. I know what I want to do. But getting the other one from that angle is going to be very tricky, as it were. That gets which ones? That actually gets those two. So all we need to do now is get the other one, the middle one. Getting the middle one, however, from this angle is going to be a tricky thing. And I can get the middle one like this, but then I can't get the other one. Really what we need is we need a... Uh need it there. That's what we need it to be. Uh, we need it there. Okay, if we have it there, and we move this block so that this is instead aiming th oh, ow. There. That's one of them. Now we just need to move this one in such a way that we get the other one? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we 
can do it from there, and... I know what I need to do now. That's the thing. I know what I need to do. I need to use the, uh, portals to get a particular angle. So that's the first one. Okay, that is the first one. This one is going directly where it needs to. That one will then go here. It's just this one that I need to angle. Ah ha ha! Took a long time, but I did it. Aha! There's a feeling of accomplishment that comes with solving a puzzle and just everything clicking together, realizing what you need to do, and moving forward. I think these test chambers look even better than they did before. It was easy, really. You just have to look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim out the fat. I wonder what you class as fat here, GLaDOS. And when we come back, folks, we'll surely find out, as we have a few more chambers to go through before we enact his super awesome master plan. I highly hope it's better than the last one, but to be fair, I'll take any attempt to escape over the eternity of testing that I'm currently being subjected to. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.